Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy at your homes. I am your GK teacher Ms. Farheen and I welcome you all to your GK class. My dear students, as you know that we are on unit number 2, resources and their types. And today is its ninth lecture and we will do a project today. So my dear students, before moving on towards the project, let's quickly recap what we did in the previous lecture. So for that, you have to answer the question, what are economic choices? Humne economic choices ke baare mein padha tha. Quickly answer the question. Very good. When we have to fulfill our needs to stay and we have to stay in our budget, these are called economic choices. So my dear students, now uh, let's quickly move towards page number 13 and let's quickly have a look ke aaj hum kaun sa jo hai SLO karne wale hain. Hum already ye SLO complete kar chuke hai. You have already identified the natural resources plants, animals, water, air, land, forest, and human resources, and the capital resources. But because today we will make a project, we will revise this SLO ko revise karenge. So my dear students, let's quickly look at the Islamic perspective related to it. He created the heavens without any visible support, and he placed firm mountains on the earth in case it should shake under you, and he spread all kinds of animals around it. We sent down water from the sky with which we made every kind of good plants grow on earth. So my dear students, Allah Ta'ala ne zameen par humare liye bhe tahasha jo hai, wo natural resources jo hai, wo rakhe hai, jin se jo hai, hum dousre jo hai, capital resources aur usme jo hai, hum unko convert karte hai. To humare ed gird Allah Ta'ala ki bhe shumar jo hai, wo name te bikhri hui hai. So my dear students, usi ne asmano ko satuno ke baghair paida kiya, jaysa ke tum dekhte ho, aur zameen par pahar bina kar rakh diye. تاکہ تم کو ہلا ہلا نہ دیں اور اس میں ہر طرح کے جانور پھلا دیئے اور ہم نے آسمانوں سے پارے نازل کیا پھر اس سے اس میں ہر قسم کی نفیس چیزیں ہو گائیں اوکی مائی ڈیئر سٹوڈنٹس ناو از دی ٹائم فور پری ڈیڈنگ کوئیشنز آپ آلڈی ہیومن ریسورسز کیپلیل ریسورسز اور نیچرل ریسورسز کے بارے میں جانتے ہیں کوئکلی نیم سم نیچرل ریسورسز گرڈ ایر وارٹر سن لینڈ natural resources now name some capital resources table chair pen pencil your bag computer mobile these all are capital resources now quickly name some human resources doctors teachers gardener carpenter mechanic these all are Human resources. Very good. Okay, my dear students, now is the time for project number two given on page number 23. Quickly open the page. I hope everybody has opened page number 23. Here you can see project number two. Let's quickly look. Ke, uh, aaj hum project number two. Kis tarike se start karenge aur aapko kya kya karna hai? Chores of life are dependent upon all of the three resources that you have studied in this unit. Now find out these resources in the following. Okay, my dear students, यहाँ पे आपको fields given हैं. Education, medicine, grocery store, clothing, agriculture. ठीक है? अब आपको ये तमाम fields given हैं और आपको इनमें बताना है कि कौन-कौन से resources जो हैं वो इसमें कौन कैसे कैसे use होते हैं? यानी कौन से natural resources education में use होते हैं? कौन से human resources और कौन से capital resources? We will have a look one by one और मैं आपको इसकी pictures दिखाऊंगी. Chores of life का मतलब होता है कि daily basis के ऊपर जो आप काम करते हैं, यानी कि जो आपकी daily duties होती हैं, उनको हम chores of life कहते हैं. Okay, my dear students, सबसे पहले हम education में देखते हैं कि कौन से natural resources use होते हैं. आप furniture use करते हैं, table chair जिसपे आप बैठ के पढ़ाई करते हैं, वो किस चीज से बनता है? Usually it is made from the wood of plants. So here this is the natural resource. Now human resource कौन सा है? Your teacher, of course, he is providing or she is providing you with a uh, service. Capital resource, books, tables, chairs, pens, pencils, multiple hai, bohat saare hai. So you have to write down their names. Main aapko pictures dikha rahi hu taake thoda sa interesting ho jata hai. Okay, next, medicine. Uh, kaun kaun se human resources jo hai, wo, uh, sorry, uh, natural human or capital resources medicine mein use hota hai. Let's have a look. Aap medicines jo hai, wo use karte hai, tablets. Syrups. So, what kis cheez se bante hai? They are made from usually plants. So, here you can also write plants. Then, kaun sa human resource hai? Doctors, nurses, these are all human resources in medicine. Then, capital resources, different 
in, uh, in, uh, equipments used in medicines like stethoscope, x-ray machine, these are all um, capital resources and the medicine that you use, these are all capital resources. Now the grocery store, grocery store mein natural resources kya hote hai? Fruits, vegetables, meat, eggs, these are all natural resources and what are the human resources? When you go to a grocery store, there you see a cashier, you see a salesman, they are providing you different services. So they are the human resources in a grocery store. Next, the capital resource, the grocery items that you look around you, they are all capital resources like uh, different creams, shampoos um, and different household products that you buy for your home, uh, they are all uh, capital resources. Next, clothing. Clothing mein jo kapde aap pehente hai, usme natural resource kya hai? Your clothes are made from cotton. So here, cotton is the natural resource of clothes. And the human resource, the tailor who makes your clothes, he is the human resource. The capital resource is the clothes that you wear, like different kinds of clothes, sweaters, shirts, pants, these are all uh, capital resources. Then in agriculture, what are the different uh, resources? In agriculture, seeds and land are the natural resources and the human resource is the farmer. Capital resources are bread, biscuits that you made from different um, crops that we get are the capital resources. So that is how you will complete this project. If you need your book, agar aapki ye space enough nahi hoti, to aap apni notebook jo hai, usko bhi use kar sakte hai. So my dear students, complete it, pause the video, complete it and submit it to your teacher. I hope everybody has finished the project. Neat and clean handwriting mein karna hai isko without any mistake. And we will move forward towards your practice. For practice, you can simply download worksheet number 9 from the description box below this video or you can get it in print form by your teacher. So write down your name and your class at the top and then resources. Check the correct box to identify which resource it is. Okay? You have given some items here and here you have written resources. You have to tell which item will go under which resource. Let me do the first one for you. Okay, number one is baker. So, baker is a person who provides you with a service. So, he is a human resource. So, baker. Okay, let me do a capital resource for you. Hammer. Then comes the sun. Sun is natural resource. So, this is how you will complete your worksheet. Complete the worksheet and submit it to your teacher and she will check it for you. Now we will move forward towards the evaluation. Okay, my dear students, simply answer the question, what are natural resources? The resources that exist around us naturally are called natural resources. What are human resources? The different uh, services or activities provided by the people are called human resources. What are capital resources? Different things or goods which are made by the humans are called capital resources. Very good. Now we will move forward towards your homework, my dear students. Quickly note down the homework. Discuss with your parents about some natural, human and capital resources used at home. Aapke ghar pe kaun se natural, capital or human resources ko aap use kar rahe hai? Think about them, discuss it with your parents, okay? So, this will be a healthy discussion. Hogi. Discuss it on uh, your dinner table, your lunch table, your free time and you will have fun. My dear students, now is the time for wrap up. For wrap up, um, naturally occurring materials are called natural resources such as plants, animals, air, land and soil. People who made efforts to provide goods and services are called human resources like farmers, doctors, teachers, etc. And sources, resources created by ease and co are called capital resources. Yani ke koi bhi aisi goods, items, jo ke aapki zindagi ko asaan karne ke liye banaye jate hain, they are called capital resources. I hope you have enjoyed the project. Keep everybody around you safe. Have a good day. Thank you so much and Allah Hafiz.